Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing okay. My name is Natalie. I'm going to be reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is just a general reading, so this may or may not resonate for all Leos out there. Also keep in mind energies can be reversed and check your birth chart if this doesn't resonate with you right away, okay? Okay, give me three cards for the sign of Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Spirit, I need three cards for Leo. One flipped over, and we have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So we're going to keep this card, relationships. Hmm. Self-esteem, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And then we have g grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So this could be about a relationship, someone... um someone doesn't necessarily feel ooh, judgment at the bottom we have I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges someone probably made a wrong judgment call I'm feeling maybe um, the judgment call had a lot had a lot to do with the relationship but I feel like it was more like a path like this relationship had a lot to do with a certain path in their life and um Maybe they feel grief um, because I'm feeling like maybe uh, they made the wrong judgment call or like they made, there was a judgment being made. <sighs> Why is relationships here for Leo? Someone rising at Venus signs. Relationships for Leo. Okay, so you have expectation. Maybe something was, someone was expecting something or someone left someone expecting. Okay, previous lady at the bottom. So, um, I feel like for a lot of you, someone regrets, someone maybe regrets waiting. Someone regrets expecting something out of a relationship. And someone regrets not doing what was expected in a relationship or um, doing the expected. Okay, so we have official person and child. They just flipped out. Um, hmm. Could be about a child. It could be about someone mature, acting immature, maybe. Why is grief here for Leo? Someone rising Venus signs. Why is grief here for Leo? Okay, so we have imprisonment that just popped out. I'll take it. So someone may be regretting something. It has to do with maybe... I, I'm hearing I'm hearing that they're beating themselves up like they see a fork in the road and they're beating themselves up because maybe they didn't choose that right uh, path the path that and because they didn't choose it's like now they're trapped or they're imprisoned or they or maybe they just feel trapped about self-esteem for Leo, something rising, Venus signs. Okay, so you have main male came out. That child card came out again next to the main male. This person was uh, maybe acting childish. Either this is a father situation or this is a masculine energy who's supposed to be very mature acting um, immature. Okay. They are... It's like this person was expecting, someone was expecting this person to be mature in some type of decision or um, maybe they just said the wrong thing, right? And it had a lot to do with their self-esteem. It had a lot to do with maybe the fact that, you know, I'm hearing hurt people hurt people. But like, I feel like someone was expecting them to be a, a little bit better or to be a little bit more mature in their thoughts and their ways in a relationship. It doesn't have to be a relationship though. It could just be like a business, a business, you know, partnership. It could be like family, you know, brother, sister, something like that. Hmm. Give me some energy for Leo, please. Someone write a Venus signs. Energy for Leo. 
What do we have for Leo? Cutting the deck. Mm -hmm. Ooh, bottom Ace of Cups, water energy. Very good, very good. Okay, then we have the Strength card. That's you, Leo. You know, the Four of Wands here, fire energy. Six of Swords, air. Uh, the Tower Scorpio could be dealing with a Scorpio. They got a Scorpio in their chart. You could have Scorpio in your chart. Four of Cups here, water energy. Or Queen of Swords, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I'm sorry, that's the Queen of Swords. Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy. And then we have the Five of Swords here, Air Energy. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini. The Empress is at the bottom of this deck. So this does have something to do with maybe, maybe letting someone down, I'm hearing someone got let down in a um, situation a relationship for wands it came crashing down or someone something came crashing down now something's not something wasn't stable that could just be their whole the tower coming crashing down could symbolize anything between um an actual foundation falling apart or it could just mean epiphanies too like someone's ego could be crashing down like their mindset is like everything that they've ever thought is not that anymore okay why is the strength card here for Leo Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs okay so we have the three of swords the world card at the bottom of the deck. Someone is trying to stay very courageous um, through a heartbreak. Someone feels really hurt. That could have been you or them. It could be both of you guys. This is a uh, third party energy here I'm feeling. Someone maybe feels betrayed but they're they have a lot of courage and they're just like you know I'll just the strength card can mean anything between taming yourself from your addictions or going after for what you really want. Like the strength card is all about courage and strength and perseverance and uh, taming yourself also though. So I feel like you're, someone is taming themselves and they're holding back and while they're holding back, they're focused on their heart and their healing. Same about the four of wands for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Two of pentacles, someone was maybe juggling a relationship um, Knight of Wands, okay. Immaturity. Someone was being very immature. And something that they knew that they wanted. They knew that they wanted this, but they were still acting as if they w didn't want this. We have the Knight of Wands here. Behind him is the Empress. The Empress is at the bottom of this deck also. So, I feel like this was someone who... juggled the empress I want to say gambled with her heart maybe knew that they wanted this but they still kind of played with it okay tell me about the five of one or I'm sorry the five of swords five of swords for Leo someone writing Venus signs why is the five of swords here for Leo someone writing Venus signs Okay, so we have judgment here. Someone made an unwise decision. Someone made the wrong judgment call. Someone was being, being very petty. Someone, yeah. Someone was maybe um, being very defensive in the situation. It's something that they knew that they wanted, but they, they had their walls up. They had hidden feelings for this. They, really, they had deep feelings for this person. But now maybe this person is uninterested. Maybe they moved away. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, please, for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, Leo. King of Cups. It's like they had the right intentions. Yeah, they had the intentions to come forward because they see this person 
as who they want to balance things out with, they're really attracted to you. They want to reconcile and get out of the cold. And they're just waiting. They're just waiting on you, I'm hearing. All right, give me the Four of Cups for Leo. So my rising Venus signs. Four of Cups for Leo. Five of Swords. I'm getting the energy of someone that was playing a game, but the other person didn't want to play anymore. They were above this, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Um, yeah, they're above these childish games. This is the Empress that you're dealing with. Someone is an Empress in this situation. Could be you or it could be them. I feel like whoever is the feminine energy is the Empress. And someone wanted to play. Someone wanted to play. Even though they knew that they had feelings for you. Hmm. But you can't do that. Here we go. We have the tower. Things falling down. Why is the tower here? For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Why is the tower here for Leo, please? Yeah. Something that they... Maybe this was a relationship that was going on for maybe a few years or so. And they have to watch something end. It's like maybe they're sitting back and analyze something. They're analyzing something. Or maybe they analyze something a little bit too much. And that's what... I don't know. I feel like they're they're watching an ending. It's like they're watching something fall down. Why is the Six of Swords here for Leo? Someone rising a Venus sign. Tell me about the Six of Swords for Leo. But... Alright. Two of Cups. This person wants to move on to calmer waters now. They don't want to, um, yeah, they want to close out a cycle, start a new one. Maybe lose commitment, put down a burden and do what's right and reconcile. Communication, progress, fixing things, a message, transformation. They could be watching you, okay? It's like after after they were immature or whatever immature thing that they did or maybe something that they said, Five of Swords, maybe just some mind games, some manipulation. And either what's going on is, I don't think the Empress moved. I don't, she hasn't popped out in the reading, but she keeps popping out at the bottom of the deck. So I know we're talking about an Empress. Something about the Queen of Swords, though. Who's this Queen of Swords for Leo? What's this Queen of Swords about for Leo? What's this Queen of Swords about for Leo? Someone where they be this size. Okay, so we have the Death card. Transformation. This Queen of Swords ended it. Um... They ended it. Maybe there was a third party in the mix. This person is no is noticing how the Queen of Swords really uh, transformed. I'm hearing something else. I'm going to clarify that death card. Just because. Just because. They want to transform with this uh, relationship. But wait a minute. She's cut off. She's cold and detached. So maybe there has to be some sort of communication. Something about the death card here for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Queen of Cups. Bottom Seven of Cups. They want to express their emotions to you, but they seem really. You, someone seems really cut off in this situation. And um, it confuses them. Because mm -hmm. everything changed. This person knows that they have to come towards you. Um, they're trying to use their intuition. But it's like it's a. It's like they're juggling that also. That's also what they're juggling. I really think for most of you. For a lot of you. It's not a third person. I mean it could be something small as like. It could be like. Anybody in their family, though. It could be in their family. It could be a, an ex. 
it could be a new person that they're talking to it could be something it could be something in their own head like they could just be don't want to seem vulnerable because of something that they went in their past it could be anything that that's getting in the way of what's going on in this situation and I feel like um, yeah but I really do feel like it does have a lot to do with um, an empress here she's hidden though she's gone she only popped up at the bottom She's not, she's not around this person that was doing that immature stuff. All right, give me three cards for Leo, please. Three cards for Leo. Mm -hmm. We have truth here, okay. Mm -hmm. We have wisdom. All right, and then we have stand your ground. All right, here we go. So... That's advice right there. I feel like Spirit is trying to give you advice. Destiny at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is trying to say, uh, stand in your truth and your wisdom. Things that you know is right. The wisdom card is always, he's isolated. He's like the Hierophant. He's like a spiritual leader almost. Right? That's the vibe that I'm getting off of this card. I just feel like he's... um. He's coming to his own truth. He's coming to his own wisdom. Things got sort of clear for him. <sighs> Standing your ground is meaning to be defensive about something. You gotta, you gotta fight for your truth now. Somebody has to fight for something that. I'm not sure which side it is. It may be uh, the feminine side that has that had to stand her ground and fight for her truth and you know just uh, isolate herself, and become this, uh, you know, become one with herself in the truth um in touch with the divine maybe someone people a lot of people look up to this person or um this is coming from the other side and spirit is telling giving them advice on things steps that they have to do now to fix this right because i really feel like um this person that's not talking to him is very cold and detached and they're not just going to um, fall head over heels for you over just a message you ha you have to do something really drastic right stand your ground if you really want this right if if they really want this whoever was doing the juggling and immaturity realized what they were doing and they have to do something a little bit different now right Leo Okay, guys, that was your reading. I hope it resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'll see you guys in your next reading. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.